home, how many complaints did the BBC get over Frankie Ball's joke about Rebecca Adlington? The answer was 75. Now, though, racist gags, are they any worse than personal attacks? Should individuals, even blonde, white, super successful individuals, get the same protection from cruel, demeaning gags that black people or Asian people get? Uh, Olympic double gold medalist Rebecca Adlington thinks they should. She's still smarting from Mock the Week star Frankie Boyle making snide gags about her looks on the BBC satirical panel show Mock the Week. Uh, Boyle joked last year that Adlington resembled someone as if you were looking at them in the back of a spoon. He followed that hilarious observation with some snidey sexual innuendo about how long she could hold her breath for. His comments sparked 75 complaints. The BBC Trust agreed that his comments were humiliating and contravened the Beeb's own guidelines on harm and offence. And that was about it. Although Boyle has since quit Mot the Week, he's unrepentant and has refused to apologise, and now Adlington's agent is calling for him to be banned from the BBC because of this gag. Is that reasonable? If we're to have any faith in the BBC's new comedy guidelines that outlaw intimidating, humiliating, aggressive or derogatory gags, then you might say yes. Or you might think Adlington, now a millionaire, needs to grow a thicker skin. If she thinks she's been unfairly treated about her looks, she should read some of the stuff that's been written or said about me. <laughs> then again... <laughs> then again, you wouldn't be allowed to unfavourably comment on a black person's lips or skin colour on the BBC, even if it was a gag, unless you're Andrew Neil or Anton Dubeck, I suppose. Uh, so how come you can debase a white blonde woman. Go on then, Christian, you reacted to that. What do you think? Um, I mean, it's, she's got a point, but it's just not one that I agree with. <laughs> It's difficult, isn't it? Um, I think the, the problem here is, is this, it's twofold. One, the BBC doesn't seem to be playing on a level yes. playing field. Um, make one rule and stick to it. Poor old BBC can't seem to do that. Um, but I do think it's important that comedy has a free voice. And that but we you should... Say, you say that straight away. So are you saying we should allow Bernard Manning, if God rest his soul, uh, people like Bernard Manning back on the BBC making racist gags because it's comedy and comedy's voice should be allowed to be heard. I think that um, so I think comedy often again raises issues mm -hmm. and actually some comedians um, you know uh, being a gay man often hear um, uh, gay gay, yep. jet, gay jokes and um, I think it basically it, it almost sets up a moral code you know if you find it funny or not and and that helps you decide but the issue, if that is makes there, sense. Is there any difference between criticising a black person for their looks and physical appearance on television, something which no, no right-thinking person would find acceptable, and doing exactly the same to a blonde white woman that you may consider to be less than attractive? I, I mean, if you're insulting one person, you're insulting the I other, think right? if you're doing a joke, it shouldn't matter what, what race you are. That should have no, <laughs> should have no effect on it. I don't care. I don't care what Rebecca Adlington looks like as long as she swims well. Listen, she's a sensible girl, and I think she's got to recognise that with the success she's had, there's going to be a lot of international recognition, and you do have to have rhino thick skin in in this industry. Is that fair? Why should she have to have rhino thick skin? Because you're open to public comment. But, I don't think this guy's I, jokes I are funny. Truth, he I should apologise because he offended her. He yeah. should do that. Just, I'm sorry, you know, I offended you, it went too far and what have you. But why should but he apologise? Could you really, if, if, could you really if have a stock situation? In trade, if his stock in trade is to make gags, and Frankie Boyle gags mainly are ripping himself apart and yeah. his family apart, that's, that's his sort of stock in trade. Mm. So if he's prepared to make disparaging comments about himself and his own kids, yeah. and, and he's a comic and he's known for great put-downs, then, then what, what's he got to apologise for? You don't have to find him funny, right. you but he has watch got something freedom else. of speech, and I think she should rise above it. Yeah. She's got enough fans out there but, and she's an but intelligent... What about David's girl? point that I, he should apologise? I, th I think he should apologise because he caused offence to her. That's, that's well, a personal thing, that's a personal thing one-to-one. I don't see why he wouldn't do that. But I certainly don't think you can get to a situation where you say, OK, nobody's allowed to make jokes of any, uh, anybody's yeah. expense. But that's where we're heading, that since history. There'd be no Serrano de Bergerac, for example. Like, you know, if you couldn't crack a, you know, a play about people with big noses. Look, I mean, it's life. We've it, been doing it for years. If you're saying he's got to apologise for that, then there's going to be a lot of comedians making a lot of apologies over the next few weeks. So think about all the people that have attacked people like Sherry Blair yep. and all, all the yep. other kind of famous yep. personalities. It's endless. But that is, as soon as you become a public That's figure, part of public life. Um, you know, what do you think? You've been, you've been, well, you've been mocked. I'm sure uh, it's something that Rebecca Adlington in ten years' time will accept a lot more. I mean, she's, she's a young woman, she's newly exposed to, 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 to public profile, but it does come with the territory, doesn't it, as it you does. say? I mean, yes. 
But maybe when you're talking about public service broadcasting within the BBC, which is riddled with documents dictating it how and mm -hmm. uh, how various issues should be dealt with, that if it's unfair to criticise someone for uh, their the size of their, or their skin colour, their, whatever physical attribute that might come through race, mm -hmm. is it? I mean, but you can insult a blonde white woman who you think is less than attractive. I mean, it just seems you, know, you can't have it both ways. That's Maybe you can have it both ways. I think she's gorgeous. I really do. Yeah. I think she's great. She's got a great personality. She comes across really well. I don't really care what he thinks. But if, if she had a great personality, a would she bridle at something like this? Well, that's true. She shouldn't rise to it. I think she should take it in her, oh, in her stroke. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're crawling along the bottom now, be... aren't you? <laughs> hey! Hey! hey. So, David, you think... <laughs> It's the butterfly get... effect. It takes time. <laughs> <laughs> so, David, you think you think he should apologise? I, I don't think he should. It should be some big formal thing. No, don't Personally, if I was him, I'd say I'm sorry if I That's caused offence. You, nice you are aware, and you, and you are aware that, that the BBC has new guidelines that have come in. Oh, admittedly, this may be after the actual event itself, but new guidelines that absolutely forbid derogatory, humiliating remarks. Well, this is clearly a, a derogatory, humiliating remark. What's the punishment but, but, for Frankie Bryan? Nothing. But, but if those were followed, uh, uh, you know, mm. adroitly, they'd never have been spitting image. I mean, well, that, that was that, fundamentally about caricaturing what people those look like. People, Brilliantly. They, those were sponge models. <laughs> oh, that's all right, then. What does our, our audience think about this, Eric? Not okay, spoken next there. to me is Lynn, a massive Frankie Boyle fan, so... Racist does that mean you're totally biased? I believe that they are, definitely, and I think Frankie Boyle is fantastic. <laughs> OK, if you were on the receiving end of uh, some of his remarks, having just won two Olympic golds for your country... I would hope that I'd be able to rise above it, just as we've said. And also, I don't think it's meant maliciously at all. Frankie Boyle's not a malicious person. He writes great uh, material, and I just think we should take it as it is, you know, it's, it's yeah. just a bit of fun. So, if so, so should we have people cracking black and Asian gags on TV? No, because that's no, just a no, bit of fun. No, because that is different. That well, hang is... on, if the person on the receiving end is mortally offended, whether they're black, Asian, or a blonde woman who's won two gold medals, what's the difference? If people are offended and hurt by what's made, why should black people have legal recourse and blonde, white women like Rebecca Addington nothing? Because I think we're looking at a cultural difference there, as opposed to... Well, I could to... argue that women have been on the butt uh, of, of men uh, for hundreds and hundreds of years. In fact, I was looking at some of the comments to the Mail on Sunday's coverage and it was uh, the only ones that were pro-Rebecca Addington were the women who said, actually, the remarks I really feel is that women being the butt of men's jokes where women are described, anybody who's less than perfect looking is dismissed and, and humiliated on television. So, women, stand up for your sex. <laughs> <laughs> but come on, people like... But also, learn to laugh at yourself. But you see, Rebecca Joe... Addington is beautiful. Yeah. She is lovely. I mean, you know, she glows with vitality. She's done a marvellous thing for and us. And she's deep offended by being compared okay. to someone and who looks in the back whilst, of a spoon. Whilst I think it would be a nice gentlemanly gesture to turn around and say, Very you well know, put. um... I'm sorry for doing that. I don't think it ought to be a public apology. Because no. okay. I don't okay. think that's warranted Absolutely. at all. OK, no. good point, good point. And we'll have a quick call, please, as well. We have Lauren, and she's on line one. Uh, Lauren, Lauren, sorry, good morning. Morning, Lauren, what do you think? Morning. Morning. Um, well, I don't think Frankie sh uh, Boyle should actually apologise. Um, at the end of the day, he's trained to be a comedian and he's well known for, you know, taking the Michael out of himself and other people, and that's what... Does that make it right? That just because someone's earned a living from taking the Michael out of people, maybe causing them deep offence along the way, just because well, he's been doing it for a long time, does that make it right? Well, I think she should get a thicker skin. At the end of the day, she's not the only person to have ever had some, you know, the mick taken out of her. And at the end of the day, she's an Olympic swimmer, and she can turn around and say, "Well, that's fine because I've got two gold medals." Yes, well, she, she may, but she's saying, Lauren, she's to the paper about it. But she's saying, Lauren, that she is deeply and profoundly hurt, and well, you're then, saying just because everybody else hasn't been, that then she should forget about it. Well, yeah, to be honest, I think she should forget about it. I mean, I mean, Ma Matthew, the, the point. There's but... millions of people that have taken the myth out. I mean. You look at Heat magazine, you see Lindsay Lohan, Amy Winehouse every single day. Yeah. Completely slaughtered. Yeah. They're not boo-hooing about it because they understand that when they go into the media limelight, they are going to get that. That is part of that okay. trade. The media okay. are unforgiving and they will rip you apart. OK. And I think one of the, one of the important points here is, is that she's not being... Uh, she's not being taken the mickey out of or just at the expense of for being a white swimmer, uh, you know, as opposed to being... Black. It's it's not hers. Isn't a racist directed thing. It's 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 somebody it's a, it's a, it's a about female, possibly it's an ugly, anti female which is an sexist thing, isn't it? That all women have to be beautiful or they're worth nothing in the world of Frankie I, Boyle. I, but 
I don't think that's fair. I think Frankie Boyle absolutely would, would uh, um, you know, have humour at a male expense, uh, yeah. equally to a female. I don't think How he's sexist How many times do you comedians all? taking the mick out of male politicians? It's all the time. Okay. I mean, in an ideal world... Okay, all I can say is, all I can say is, pop stars and politicians crave publicity yeah. and the public eye. Rebecca Ellington is a woman who swims. Yeah. Just happens to swim well. I think it's interesting. I think perhaps she should grow a thicker skin, but it's an interesting dilemma. After the break, oh, well, in fact, it's the panel part of this morning's show, all done and dusted, I should tell you. Dr Rosemary still had come, of course. Uh, first, though, it's goodbye to this lot. What a great show they've done. Christian, it's been Thank excellent you so to meet you as well. Thank and you. a very passionate explanation about dyslexia as well. Thank wish you. we'd done a part on that, quite frankly. Um, and best of luck as well, I should say. Build or not to build. Uh, build starting in BBC One in 35 minutes' time. See, <laughs> see you there. Nathalie <laughs> Davis, see you tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for a wonderful panel.